Hello everyone. So in our previous video, we discussed about the integration of extent report framework with specflow framework. We use the class called general hook for implementing the reporting logic. In this video, I'm going to discuss two more things. First about the code refactoring and second is about the screenshot. That is once this step is failed, how to take the screenshot and attach in the extent report. So for the refactoring part, I'm interested in this method. As you can see here, most of the code inside this method is doing the same thing, but for different node type. So same if else block for a given node, same if else block for when node and so on. So from the code refactoring point of view, first I will create a new method, move this piece of code inside the newly created method and use the newly created method over here. So let me create a new method. So I will create this method as a generic method because during the runtime we need to specify that what type of node we want to create. Either it's a given node, when node, then node and so on. So here I will use the type parameter. So when you create a generic method, it is always good to specify the restriction on the type parameter. In our case, I'm going to put the same restriction what the create node has in the extent test class. And then I'm going to move this piece of code to the newly created method. And this will be replaced by type parameter T. So during the runtime, when you call this method, you will specify the type either given, when, then, and based on that type, it will create the node. So I'm going to comment out this if else block and use the newly created method. So I will do the similar replacement for rest of the step. So after this, I'm going to discuss about the screenshot. So whenever there is a failure, the first thing what we need to do is to take the screenshot. And we have already discussed in our previous video that how you can use the web driver API to take the screenshot. So I will reuse the same code. So whenever we are getting the error, we will take the screenshot. So at this point, first I'm fetching the title of the step and removing all the spaces. So here we didn't specify the absolute path. So I'm going to take this screenshot and save inside the same directory where we are generating the report. So I will just append the absolute path. And in order to attach the screenshot with this step, there is a method that is add screen capture from path and specify the location where you have the screenshot. Clean the solution, rebuild the project and run the feature file. So in this case, I'm going to run two feature file that is arguments.feature as well as hooks.feature. So the execution is done. Let me open the location where we have a report. So this is the screenshot. So as you can see here, the name of the screenshot file is the title of this step. And this is the report. So this is the feature. These are the scenarios. And these are the steps. This is the second feature and this is the failed step. As you can see here, although we have used the method that is add screen capture from path, but it did not add the screenshot to this failed step because there is an issue with the new version of extend report framework. 
and you can see at the github this issue is still open so once this issue is resolved you will be able to use the feature of adding the screenshot along with the failed step